Now this craft is truly for the birds. Let's use some twigs to make an adorable little faux bird cage with solo wood flowers. We're going to start by clearing off the greenery from this twig. It's from the mulberry tree that I have in my front yard. You need a branch that's really bendy um, and has a lot of give to be able to create the curves for the bird cage. Next, I painted a terracotta pot, first with some white paint and then green paint over top. So I was hoping to crackle the green paint as you'll see in a bit, but it didn't quite work out. So you could almost skip this white paint step. I ended up leaving the green paint uneven to give it kind of a bit more texture with the white peeking through. So I like how this looks. Once that paint was dry on the pod, I stuffed inside a little bit of this floral foam. Now it's time to build the cage structure. So I used six branches, each about three to four feet long and then curved them in place in a crisscrossing pattern to create the cage part for the craft. Use some branch snippers if you need to, to trim those down. And I didn't really need to do much to keep them in there. I just shoved them into the pot and they pretty much stayed. I used a bit of twine and with a crisscrossing pattern secured those twigs together at the top. Next, I made a really beautiful nest of solo wood flowers for the bird. I had dyed these flowers a really pretty palette of pink, green, and blue. Very pastel light colors, and it just was perfect for this craft. So I alternated all the colors and the different sizes of the solo wood flowers and really covered the whole floral foam to, until it wasn't showing anymore. Next, I used some twine and a little piece of the twig to create a swing perch for my bird. The bird that we're going to use is one of our designs from our felt pattern collections. You can find those patterns in the Etsy shop. There's five different birds, but I use this adorable chickadee to sit inside of the birdcage. I tied the two twine pieces to the top of the cage and then glued the bird onto there with some hot glue. Finally, I finished the piece by adding on a little bit of lace ribbon. I think this came from the Dollarama, as well as a few more of the Sola wood flowers to the top. And then finally, a little bit of greenery cascading down. I absolutely love how this faux bird cage craft turned out. There's so many possibilities to make them even for the holidays with more Christmas themed colors. Or if you don't have solo wood flowers, you can use faux florals from the craft store. This makes a really thoughtful gift idea or centerpiece for your own table. And I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and follow for more.